patient is complaining about the pain or the cholecystitis or cholecyst uh, no lithiasis or the cholecystitis inflammation of the gallbladder or the gallbladder stones or the pain in the gallbladder region that particular time it is recommended you just try to palpate this point the patient is feeling the pain that indicating only on the right side at the same time gallbladder 21 also it is the move alarm point for the gallbladder if the right side gallbladder pain 21 pain is there that indicating the gallbladder stones as well when the patient is complaining the pain on this particular region then you understand it is also connected to the gallbladder stones as well now come to the gallbladder 24 that's point to be Rio so just exactly the nipple is located on the which intercostal space oh, fourth intercostal space now this is the fifth intercostal space this is the sixth intercostal space S sixth intercostal space also there is a chi man that is the liver 14 then just a distal to this point this is the gallbladder 24 this is the rio point so you just apply one needle here you try to find out the hollow depression in that depression it is applied this particular point if the patient is complaining the pain in this region then you understand it is the gallbladder is having the excessiveness or deficiency which leads to the problem of the gallbladder this area now we understand the gallbladder 24 is the move front alarm point for the gallbladder when the gallbladder having the problem stones you will get the pain here at the same time there is the gun shoe and then tan shoe D A N Tan shoe that is the gall U B 19. U B 19 is the back shoe alarm point for the gallbladder, and then G B 24 is the move front alarm point for the gallbladder. If we activate together this point and this point together, we activate that means is the U B 19 and then the G B 24 together. It's really good point to treat for numerous diseases connected to the G B problem right however if the patient is complaining here pain then you understand it is the heart pain or the gallbladder stone pain if there is a left side pain that indicating of course is the heart pain also signifies here on the fifth intercostal space as well if if the sixth and seventh intercostal space pain is there that indicating the gallbladder stones which leads to the pain or the excessive pitta is accumulated also causing the pain at the same time or the intercostal is muscles having the pain because of the trauma or injury somewhere it is hurted with knowledge without our knowledge that ribs pain also is there that ribs pain also releases at the same time if the nerve problem is there intercostal is now that's called as a seventh intercostal now get stagnation that also can be recovered by activating this particular point now, now coming to the next point to be known as a the most important point that is GB 25 gallbladder 25 that is the Ching men Ching men is the men is the gate this also Ching men is the really good gate to treat for the renal disorders now we try to find out where this point is located now try to find out you just come down touch and feel and then come down to the lower portion of the ribs these are the ribs these are the intercostal muscles and also intercostal spaces you touch and feel the ribs come forward you can find the 11th rib 11th rib this is the 11th rib and you come forward this is 1.8 tune proximal or back of this point this to be known as a Ching men that is the gallbladder 25 so this is the point to be known as a GB 25 if the patient is complaining about the renal pathology you just apply the needle on this particular region in the hollow depression try to find out see the ribs which is that anterior to the 11th rib 11th rib is Chang men that is the liver 13 and then this is the anterior to the 12th rib 12th rib is gallbladder 25 that is the uh, gb25 is the move front alarm point for the kidneys when the kidneys pathology is there 
that particular time patient feels some kind of the unique pain on this particular region at the same time patient feels the low back pain and there is the tenderness on this particular region if it is the tenderness is there in this region then definitely you understand there is a kidney related issues and sometimes the kidney stones also causes the pain or the kidney stones only having the problem is in this region of course is the kidney stone if the patient is complaining like this pain then the ureter also having the problem if the patient is complaining the pain here and also the pain is in this region then there is the stones are formed in the urinary bladder if the pain is on the urethra then of, the, of course it is the obstruction in the urethra which not passing precisely which causing the may, very painful syndrome even that particular situation please you just apply this is this is gall bladder 25 is a really good point to treat for the renal disorders so further that should go deep yes so this should go to the this much only so if you go the more than 1.5 zone that you are again damaging to the peritoneal cavity the inside the peritoneum the abdominal alimentary organs are known as a that is the the all the digestive organs are inside of the peritoneal cavity if we puncture to the peritoneal cavity that again we are damaging directly indirectly to the internal organ where we call as a ascites inflammation or any kind of the you know accumulation of the unwanted water inside the peritoneal cavity that's called as a ascites ascites is the unwanted water is retention in the peritoneal cavity that that's the reason aspiration to be taken place so that's the reason we shouldn't damage to the very deep deeper level right this is gallbladder 25 then gallbladder 26 we come to the this region which we call as a aces there are the two th bones are there one is, is the aces the other one is, is the pieces and yes is the anterior superior iliac spine to be known as a aces this is as a pieces is the posterior superior iliac spine but we will try to find out the aces as of now so now you need to lie down a straight and stretch yes yeah good are you feeling much pain yeah. is it no, okay no, no huh? let it be there okay you place it straight direction now you can see this is touch and feel this is the aces where this point is exactly located this is the navel from the navel you just come laterally to this laterally to this this point to be known as a this point to be known as this is the gb25 now just distal to that point from the navel you just come down in the lateral position so you can find these muscles to be known as a lateral abdominus muscles when you go to the deeper muscles that is the transverse abdominus muscles so which is communicating to the spine as well now i wanted to apply this the most the important the female point this is point to be known as a i wanted to name it this point is especially the female leucorrhea point especially one slightly you just apply one needle yes this is part to be known as a oh, on to the 30th point now 38th point is film terminale this is the area you look at about this this area is the tip where you can find the gluteus muscles it starts here so this gluteus muscles this is the greater trochanter this is the greater trochanter of the femur from here to here you can divide it into three segments from this line is the this is the line from here to here you divide it into three segments this upper one by third this is the middle two by third this is the outer three by third right so now from here to here the upper region this is the, from here two by third region two by third region of the hiatus sacrum and then the greater trochanter this is the hiatus sacrum this and this is the greater trochanter now we divided into three segments now this is the first segment and this is the outer two by third segment now this point is is the gb30 this is the gb30 gb30 point 
but here is one secret i wanted to tell you again there is the one tune distal to the gb30 one tune distal to the gb30 gb30 that area to be known as a this area to be known as a sciatica now electric vibration to be taken place when there is the electricity should pass to this region that particular time we can use it the another point to be known as a there is no acupuncture point but here we can use the one more needle one more needle here just as a gb 30 but below that there is a point but this is the sciatica now point but sciatica now you remember it starts from the which direction it starts from the it starts from the vertebras what are those vertebras l5 l4 l5 s1 s2 s3 these are the three regions the sciatica now starts from there the sciatica now descends to the downwards direction on the hamstring muscles and then lateral side of the leg as well when we insert to the deeper level this should goes to the further deep so when the patient feels some kind of the vibration here then that's indicating the sciatica now feeling the vibration that's good but however you don't want to use this point you wanted to use only the want you that also recommended but however we just keep giving the pressure or the stimulation to this particular point the sciatica pain the patient certainly feel the changes but however you wanted to treat the sciatica now better we can select the l4 l5 s1 s2 s3 that points also recommended now we'll move on to the the 32nd point and a 31st right 30 31st point this coming points are really really beautiful points give me your hand and then once we place when we are standing erect position when we are standing erect position very straight position our middle finger our middle finger touches to the on the thigh muscles on the lateral side don't move on the right side and left side just you place the hand like this and you can find the area to be known as a tensor fascia lata this is the called as a it band elio tbl band so on the band this point is located very hard muscles once we give the pressure to this particular area that also good to treat for this sciatica pain the beauty of another importance of this point is is the one side headache the especially the migraine headache or the temporal headache patient is complaining about the pain on any region so who are not applied you just apply apply anyone you just apply here gb31 is the feng shi feng means is the wind again the shi means is the market anything any pain especially anywhere pain especially on the lateral side of the hand this is the amazing and beautiful point to treat for this sciatica pain at the same time the patient is complaining about the allergy anywhere in the skin eruptions are there arctic area is there and the lankan planus that's the one indication that also recommended this point so hopefully you remember if there is the it band having the stiffness then the knee also get the pain on the lateral side that time to relax that muscles this is the vastus lateralis muscles you are relaxing here that also really good now we'll move on to the next point is the 32 point chungdu so that is two chun distal to this point is chungdu to chun to distal to this point is chungdu please apply nivan so this is the gall bladder 32 point gall bladder 22 point right 32. yes on the cloth you are inserting the needle you should sanitize properly that area to be sanitized properly and then we insert the needle so hopefully we completed 32 i think now we wanted to show you the most important point that i'll show you on the so once you just relieve these needles quickly yes <coughs> you just dispose now 
Now I think somebody who's uh, is it possible, Natraj, this ghost up to this level or who are comfortable? You are comfortable. No, no, you need to lie down. Yes. Yes, sir. Now you just fold this, semi fold the leg, semi fold the leg. So in the zoom all of you listen, see carefully where exactly this point is located because the most most important point to treat for the knee pain, right? So pain is anterior knee pain, posterior knee pain, lateral knee pain, medial knee pain. But I am talking about the lateral side of the knee pain. If the patient is feeling the pain on this region, still little more. These muscles are the vastus lateralis muscles, these muscles are the bicep femoris muscles and these muscles are the semimembranosus muscles, these muscles to be known as the semitendinosus muscles. But now I am talking about the, when the patient is complaining the pain on this region, then you understand especially on this IT, the iliotpl band will get the more stiffness, this is the fencer lasia lata, fencer lata muscles is the more stiffness so that particular time which causes the pain so at the same the time the at the same time this is the area to be known as a this is the biceps femoris muscles so these muscles get a stiffness when these hamstring muscles get a stiffness also causes the pain when the patient knee a movement that means flexion and extension is not happening due to that reason this particular muscles get a stiffness to relax that muscles we just apply the gb33 c yang kwan c means is the knee yang means is the fu visera and then kwan is the gate right now we wanted to use semiflex once we semiflex then only we realize this is the tendon this is the biceps femoris tendon all of you touch and feel touch and feel the tendon so this is the biceps femoris tendon so this tendon anterior to this tendon this is the anterior that means is the front of the tendon there is a depression is it there yeah. depression is there all of you touch and feel the depression yes now in this depression you just apply the needle that would be better so this is in fact patient feel lot of changes patient feel lot of relief right this is local point of the knee pain local point for the lateral side of the knee pain but when you when you stretch this you can't find the depression until you semi flex the knee then only it is recommended right so strongly you just stimulate strongly you just stimulate patient feel lot of changes now we completed all the all the clinical acupuncture points request people on zoom to go on mute please this is the clinical acupuncture points we were completed now really coming points are very very beautiful points so we wanted to see that point to be known as a gb34 the gall bladder 34 point gb 34 point gallbladder 34 where the location is located <coughs> you touch and feel once you place the hand on the lateral side distal to the knee you feel the head once the bone is very prominent how the cervical bone is prominent c7 like that the th this is the fibula bone head of the fibula also prominent in this region touch and feel all of you there is a bone is prominent here the anterior to that region head of the fibula right so anterior to the fibula you can find the point is gb34 anterior and then slightly inferior slightly yes good inferior to the head of the fibula all of you in the zoom you just look at about the your own knee and try to find out the head of the fibula on the lateral side you find until you don't touch and then feel it you cannot recognize the point i think i, I touched some bone yes this is the bone exactly now this we can go to the
slightly change the direction that goes to the deeper level now we completed the gb34 this is the ha sea point or the sea point or the ocean point and this is in fact where the maximum energy is is reaching to the gall bladder at the same time this is the grand sun point as well that means the gb34 is the heavenly one of the heavenly star point so star point so many few star points are there among them this is in fact is the heavenly star point so this is the beauty of this point is communicating to the tendons and then muscles you remember is the key information is when anywhere in the muscle these muscles are the uh, is the gn muscles gastrocnemius muscles this is the peroneus muscles this is the gluteus maximus muscles gluteus medius muscles gluteus minimus muscles hamstring muscles quadriceps muscles peroneus muscles gracilis muscles adductor muscles this is the troncholitis this is the transverse which we call as the abdominal lateralis muscles or the iliosas muscles or the trapezius muscles rhomboid muscles gluteus muscles or this called as a neck muscles glabella muscles anywhere the chest muscles pectoralis minor major muscles breast muscles are weak abdominal muscles are weak rectus abdominis muscles are weak anywhere the muscular system having the deficiency the floppy of muscles are there to strengthen the muscles it is required to activate to regulate the point gb34 as a as a clinical point of course at the same time this is the classical point as well now we understand there is the pain on the somewhere in the tendon pain is there somewhere my bone pain also is there because you remember the when the muscles are weak then the cartilage also weak when the cartilage is weak the tendon also weak when the tendon also weak the bone also weak of course the ten cartilage and then bone is closer to each other so when the muscles are not supporting to the tendon all are affected to the bone system as well so preliminary level is the bone problem we wanted to treat first what to be done we have to treat for to strengthen the muscular system when the muscles are good then the other organs also good other you know activities also mobilization movement also good now hopefully you understand gb34 is the prime point to treat for the musculo and tendinous system because gb34 is equal to the chiango chiango is a stomach 43 the stomach 43 is the grandmother point it receives the energy from the gall bladder so soft muscles also get strengthened and then the hard muscles are to get strengthened by activating this point since the point is located on the knee region lateral side of the knee pain also to be regulated at the same time there is a nerve the sciatica now will become deviation that is the fib femoral that's called as a tbl now and then the fibular now this combined together is commonly they are creating one now called as a common peroneal now this activating to the common peroneal now as well so this now is activated of course this side the all the muscles and then now is called as a sural now also activated so hopefully that's the reason on the lateral side of the uh, leg this can be treatable at the same time when the excessive pitta is accumulated in the bile secretion is more and accumulated retention is there that time the we chun proximal that means 3 plus 2 chun 5 chun proximal to this region on the anterior border of the fibula <coughs> because the anterior border you cannot find exactly location because the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis muscles are more thicky muscles that's the reason you cannot find but still slightly like this yeah now it is i applied anterior to the fibula so now we we can see this is in fact is the kuang ming in the chinese indicating is the brightness of the eyes all the vision related disorders which i recommended on the tung zilio is the gb1 and also recommended is the kuang ming is the gb37 is the most distal point for the vision anywhere any children or the adult or the aged persons they do have the vision related problem then the mu chuang mu chuang is the window of the eye right that point also recommended and this point also recommended for the vision related disorders this called as the kuang ming the another point is the this is the yang fu that is the four chuan proximal 3 plus 1 four chuan proximal to this point is please apply somebody bunny madam you just apply 
GB38, Yang Fu. It also indicating this is the 100 joints. This is treatable for the joints related disorders indicating to anywhere there is the polyarthritis or single arthritis or any arthritis are there, the joints is affected. <coughs> that particular time it is recommended to use this point. GB30. GB38 is the Yang Fu. This is in fact is the sun point, sedative point. It depletes the energy of the gallbladder and this is equivalent to this point is Chung Zhu. Chung Zhu means Jib Sanjo 3. Sanjo 3 point is this point. Sanjo 3 and then GB38 is the equilibrium point. This is the sun point. GB34 is the grand sun point. GB38 is the sun point. So together if you wanted to sedate the gallbladder, if the gallbladder stones are there because of the excessive accumulation of the gallbladder chi, it will accumulate. That time we wanted to withdraw that if it is less than 6 mm of the stones are there, that time certainly without doing the surgery chances are there that goes to the duodenum from the duodenum it goes to the large intestine from the large intestine it comes out through the defecation so hopefully you understand GB 38 and then 39 is the my favorite point and definitely we can use for the numerous diseases so we wanted to apply the another three chone proximal three chone proximal to this there are the two tendons there are the one is, is the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis tendon midway between these two tendon the point is located this is a very painful point but i just apply myself here activating to this particular point this is midway between the two tendons this is the bone marrow point this is bone marrow point that means is the red blood corpuscles and then the white blood corpuscles are synthesized by this do you know there is a stem cell therapy so the other one is is the yellow marrow the both marrows are required the red blood corpuscles and white blood corpuscles and platelets platelets are synthesized by that at the same time when the yellow bone marrow also essential to regulate where the fatty cells which is called as adipose tissues and adipose you know level that will synthesize by the yellow bone marrow both are required both to be regulated by activating this one particular point hemoglobin level when the platelets counts are getting you know degeneration or something the especially the leuco uh, the cancer related patients uh, that condition certainly sometimes is the WBC is very high or the very low something anything connected to the blood pathology is there that time certainly we can use this point then coming to the GB40 point GB40 is the chiksu is the source point so how to use this point you just use this is the lateral malleolus anterior to this you draw the one line anterior to this and then one more line you just draw bring that uh, markers then draw the one more line draw the one more line on the downwards direction now you can find that there is the vertical line anterior to the anterior to the uh, lateral malleolus and then the horizontal to the horizontal line to the lateral malleolus if where that these two lines meet where these two lines meet together that point to be known as a chiksu please apply gb40 this is a source point intersection yes source point Right, now we are moving to the the next point. If there is ankle pain is there, distension, swelling is there, certainly we can use this point. <coughs> 41 point is in fact little delicate point. Now we understand these are the two toes, fourth and fifth toe. Now you just try to come down. This is the base. This is the base of the fourth and fifth metatarsal in the depression where the stomach 43 is there likewise this point also there is a point here but there is a tendon here that tendon to be known as a you touch and feel the tendon to be known as a extensor digitorum longus tendon so this tendon just front of the tendon we just insert the needle 
towards the gall bladder meridian now 1.5 chun or 2 chun that goes to the deeper level but now if we apply here that point is different we applied this is the gb41 is the su linchi or the foot linchi so this point is the horary point that means without disturbing to any organ we if the gall bladder having the deficiency we wanted to treat we can use gb41 directly we can insert the needle to the downward direction that you are activating to the gall bladder by the way this is the topmost distal point for the ears you remember if the patient is complaining any ear pathology definitely we can use this point to treat for the deafness and otitis media otalgia or tinnitus we can use this point at the same time for the female breast related problem is there the distal point for the breast also this is gb41 at the same time is patient is complaining about the arthralgia arthritis pain and also the milk secretion is more we wanted to stop the milk secretion that time also it is recommended this point now we'll move on to the gb42 tibo hui so now one chun proximal to one chun proximal to web margin we use one chun right please apply somebody you can find this is the web margin from here one chun above from the web margin this point is tibo hui gb42 <coughs> gb42 not much significant try to find out the hollow depression yes yes it's my request and please somebody take the you know uh, uh, images and then send it post it in the groups as well so now you just apply 43 this is the half chun proximal to the half chun proximal to the web margin midway between the fourth and fifth toe you okay, have gb44 yes wonderful enough enough now gb44 Point five chun lateral point sorry point one chun lateral to the lateral to the nail base of the fourth toe. Just a second, sir. The point is here, mm-hmm. right? It can't be. You just take the support and then always insert the needle. Okay. This is so chew in yes. only superficial that's in a good wonderful so really good point so now you understand this is the last but definitely not the least as i told you all the sense organ are treatable by activating the single point which is that point uh, 44 gb44 gb20 i told you gb20 gb20 fungus is the treatable for all the sense organs but whereas in the distal point for all the sense organs known as a su chao in gb44 at the same time except the nose but all the sense organ can be treatable by activating gb44 at the same time this is gb44 is equivalent to the sanjian sanjian is li3 li3 when the large intestine is accumulated more energy <coughs> that time it's not passing down so to regulate the gall bladder energy and then large intestine energy combined together we activate this point is always is good so hopefully we understand all the 44 points we completed when this is acts as a local point you remember the web margin points so this is come crossing to the pa feng pa means is the eight feng means is the wind points so all these points are the wind points are existing here patient is complaining about the numbness and neuropathy condition diabetes neuropathy especially they don't feel the numbness that situation certainly we ask you just apply the needles on this web margins this called as a bad evils evils are affected to eradicate that evil certainly we can use this all these points is good but now we just try to uh, give the pressure if the needles are not there and ask them to patient themselves take the toothpick or take the jimmy or applicator of the wood or the metal and ask them to give the pressure to these spots and certainly over the period of time if they continuously give the pressure for 40 days and diabetic neuropathy certainly will get changes right these are the very most imperative points hopefully anyone having the any doubts please let me know